Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I wanna be really honest with you, I am currently an emotional wreck. I have got so many thoughts swirling through my mind. Love Island has got me feeling angry and emotional about things that are not my business. Why am I not about to have the hot girl summer I was planning on having? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just why is it when I try to be healthy and go gym and stuff, it just isn't working? Why am I eating a box of chocolates that I absolutely detest? Like, what what, what the hell is this? Why is there hazelnut praline in the middle? But why am I still going to eat it anyway? Because I'm craving chocolate. The level of intense emotions I have right now are so very real. I've actually tried to feel like 18,000 times and I've had like tears and then I go to watch a show on Netflix and I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And so I decided that in my emotional wreckness, I'm going to try and transform and be cute. Maybe it's because I'm going out later on and I just get this like panic when it's like, let's go out and do something fun. I'm like, fun. <laughs> I don't even know what that is anymore. Yeah, okay. Wow, that feels very emotional and very venty. But if you've ever been an emotional wreck and not quite known what you want to do with yourself, maybe this honest, transparent view on, on, on being an emotional wreck might help you. So what you'll notice at the moment is that my face is dry, parched like sand, but my skin has been doing really well because I've been taking my skincare militantly, but I realize actually I'm someone with relatively dry skin and dry lips. So firstly, my Estee Lauder Lip Repair Potion. I actually use this as night, at night as a night treatment. My face feels like it needs several layers of moisture. Firstly, sunscreen. I'm using my Shiseido sunscreen, my favorite. I think I've showed this to you guys so many times. It's got SPF 50 in it and doesn't leave a white car. It's like completely clear. I wanted to do a video talking about Love Island. I don't know if you guys currently are watching Love Island or not. Um, and I believe they've got like a fake American version coming out. Tell me for my US followers out there, will you be watching it? Love Island is a show here in the UK that makes me want to punch my TV screen all the time. I'm bad! because it really makes me be angry at a lot of men, but also angry at women for some of the decisions that they make. Look, I, you can see the anger in my system right now. This looks like it's about to be a weapon. My Fasali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Wait, let's get it on her, because I need the moisture. But yes, girls who ask me why men cheat, I really think it's to do with the one, the leeway you give a man, and two, the kind of man you choose. And on watching this show, I feel very annoyed where these men who gaslight women, oh, guess what? My chocolates just melted into my laptop. Oh, this is, this is, this is great. Mmm, chocolate on USB port. Mmm, the day's getting better. I should have just eaten the praline. I hate praline, it's disgusting. The show makes me upset because maybe it's a reflection of real life, not my life because I feel like I'm someone who always has my wall up, a little bit like Amber. One foul swoop of bad action from a man and I was out, out the door. Still bad, but I was a no second chances kind of girl. Not like I had many options when it came to guys. And I feel like fundamentally, like you can tell the kind of guys, like what they're gonna be like in the future. I don't know. I don't know, is it just me? I feel like there's this woman's intuition that tells them the good, the bad and ugly. You see it. So speaking of hot girl summer, makeup routine has changed just a little bit. I don't actually wear makeup every day. I've been taking a little bit of a break in my makeup, focusing on the skin, glowing, glowing. Um, but I'm wearing primer and using different foundations. And I am using a little bit of Dermalogica at the moment. Um, Dermalogica. This is the Hydra Blur Primer. And I'll be honest with you, I wasn't someone who wore primer that much, but 
it makes a big difference. And if we are talking hot girl summer, you are gonna have to use a bit of a primer. So I am going in with the Uroma Foundation. You guys have probably seen this brand dotted around. I've seen so much about it, lots of raves. Some people do like it, some people don't like it. I do use this. I have been recommending it to my friends. It is a matte foundation, but slightly hydrating as well. They've got like 50 shades and I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> amongst the 50 shades, I was still wearing the wrong shade for quite a while. So I'm actually trying a new shade. Um, this is Brown Sugar T3C, right? And actually, because the, there's so many, I think there might be 60 foundation shades that actually you do need to take the time to actually match yourself correctly. And there's so many little nuances um, in the middle, which is so nice to have, but you can still get it wrong. Just cause there's lots to choose from doesn't mean you got the right one. And I know I was walking around looking orange for a season because I really like the, the finish of the foundation, but I didn't have the right shade, but I've definitely got it now. I matched it to my Too Faced Spiced Rum. So, summertime ready. Um, Trying to not put lots of foundation on. And I learned this from Uche brushing downwards because lots of us have hairy faces. Some people might not realize it, but I know I've got a hairy face. Can you guys look at this? Is this like a beard in action? Um, and so what you don't wanna do is brush your foundation like upwards into your beard, like no. You see the flawlessness of this finish? And do you see, I have this big vein with weight gain and breast gain. I have a vein. Who gets veins on their boobs? Like. Do you know what? These are the things we deal with. These are just the things we deal with. It's okay. It's part of growth, part of growth. So sometimes when I'm in an emotional mood, I try for my outward to look like the opposite of what I feel on the inside, which is, is dark and gray and crispy. So uh, for some reason, the Huda Beauty neon palettes have now sung out to me. Hmm, what kind of oxymoron is this? Um, I haven't used these and you guys know I'm more of a neutral girl, but today she's not neutral. Today, I'm just gonna go back wild and see what I look like. I feel like I need something to rant about. Oh, I can't remember if Huda Beauty is canceled or not. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm kind of over cancel culture. I just think that there's a lot of trash people in the world. Ooh, these are pretty. <gasps> kind of look, some of them look a little bit similar. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, there are a lot of trash people in this world. And my goal in life is to avoid their energy. Um, I just, I've got this vibe of pay no mind. Have you heard this term? It's like pay no mind to those who are bad mind, right? And I feel like this really helps me a lot in life, although it makes me a little bit oblivious. But you know what? Sometimes you don't have the energy in life to take on the energy of negative people. And it just kind of brings you down. Ooh, I'm gonna talk about fake friendships. I feel, I feel this one coming in the spirit. I'm gonna use the Morphe brushes. These are, this came from the, I think it's like the Pride collection that they had coming out. These are really nice. I think Morphe are also cancelled, but I know that, you know, some people are just trying to find affordable products. And so I'm gonna use the brushes today. And I know a lot of people don't like that. Like, you know, you gotta hate everyone. Let me tell you, everyone is doing something wrong in secret and in public. I wanna show you something new as well. I don't know if you guys have seen the new minis that came in from Fenty Beauty. <laughs> These are really cute. I'm gonna use the um, primer that's in here. Also, please don't look at my nails. These have been growing out <laughs> for a really long time and then I got angry <laughs> and kicked them. These are beautiful, long coffin nails and then I got like, I can't handle this anymore and then I cut them and now they look like blocks. <laughs> It's just all going wrong. <laughs> I need a maintenance day. I've just, oh! Oh! Oh God, come through pigment. Oh, this is strong. I feel like I need a maintenance day where I just like go for a facial, a body massage, get my toes done. I already feel cute. I already feel happier. 
Then I'm gonna go in with this Morphe M13 brush and I'm gonna go in with the purple from a different palette. Hmm, should be all right. And I'm not a queen of blending or anything like that. I make it look like I know what I'm doing by just kind of using really simple monochromatic colors. <laughs> and that's it for me, basically. But you know what, I like the way this looks, you know. I like the way this looks. It's also a really gray and rainy day outside. And like, I feel like I'm bringing the opposite of what it's like outside, which is quite a nice feeling. And then I'm gonna go in with this like really bright neon in my inner tear duct. Why? I don't know. Oh, I can tell you now, I've never done anything like this before. But I feel like because it's monochromatic, it kind of looks elegant. And then I'm gonna use this glittery one here as well. When I see you smile. My favorite mascara. Everyone needs to get this mascara. I'm happy about it. It's the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Mascara. Got it in PR, have rebought once, gonna rebuy again. Such a good product. I wish I had longer eyelashes, but it just does a wonder on them, like honestly. One of the questions I get asked a lot is like, how do I motivate myself when I'm feeling down? What do I do? Here is an honest video on basically what I do in this circumstance. I really didn't feel like getting up and doing something today. I was just having one of those days where I was like, I'm so unmotivated, I'm so grumpy, and I wanted to really lean into that. And like, I feel like you can already tell that my energy's changed. I don't know how, it's weird. Sometimes you gotta do the things that you don't wanna do. And like, when you lean into it, you feel a lot better for it. Now, I feel great, I feel pumped. Almost, almost. I'm still angry at men right now. Um, but I don't feel as bad as I felt 45 minutes ago. I actually plan to come and sit down and do a video at one o'clock, it is 4.30. And between now and then, I procrastinated. I moaned, I found other things to do. I had a little weep. For what reason? Why, what are you weeping about? Um, nothing at all. So how do you motivate yourself? Sometimes you've got to do shit stuff you really don't want to do. Don't think about it, just do it. I'm gonna go in with the Uoma. This is the Woke Concealer. It is the Stay Woke Concealer, I like that. I'm using shade Brown Sugar and it says 12 on it. I've used this before and I am using less and less concealer. I have got a big pie head right now, so pied, and I've learned not to take my concealer all the way to the edges of my moon face. Um, keep it central, keep it central, keep it cute. Let's attract all the light here. <laughs> And I know when I do my makeup like this, it will not budge. And I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty. This is the Tantor, and I use the shade Tan. This is a really good product. I'm gonna be honest, for a bronzer, I find it to be better than the Fenty Beauty. I know, it's hard to say, because I'm such a Fenty Beauty stan, but the, the shades, I don't, I don't want to say it. This is not your classic Patricia. This is hormonal <laughs> grumpy Patricia. But with a jawline, with a jawline, you can't tell me anything. <laughs> not, not today, Satan, not today. And as you can see, I'm just trying to like bring my face in a little bit and like make sure that my jawline looks like it's like nice and lifted. Today is also a big day and I'm going to do more of this stuff because when I've asked you guys about what you want to see from me more, you want me to talk about pensions and investments and all that kind of stuff. And I've avoided it for a really long time. I don't know if any of you guys are out there where you avoid parts of yourself, like intentionally or maybe not even intentionally, you avoid parts of yourself because you don't know, you think people perceive you one way and then you don't want them to see the other side of you. And the other side of me is 
a financial geek. I'm gonna be really honest with you. And all my friends know it. And like when I speak to people in private, they all know it. And I feel like it's a side that I just, I give peaks off, but I don't wanna talk about. I don't know why. And I feel like part of my journey is about you know, I'm a glam girl who likes accounting, okay? I'm a glam girl who likes accounting. <laughs> I'm talking about investments and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some ridiculous lashes um, before I give my face a little bit more dimension. These are from Backstage Beauty. Um, I kind of got over wearing lashes for a bit, but they do add that drama I think I need right now. Lashes are on, hopefully this glue will melt very, very soon. I am going to go into my face, so I'm feeling good. Ready for a little turn up now. Okay, okay, she's she's ready. So I've got these two new palettes in from NARS. One says Hot Nights, one says Summer Lights. So this is the Summer Lights, um, which looks like it's all like warms, a bit of like bronzes. Oh my God, this gold here looks stunning. It looks kind of matte on camera, but it's not actually that matte. Ooh, hot nights. People ask me a lot about motivation. I have found that you feel better once you do a task that like you know you're meant to do and you get this sense of achievement. I'm gonna use a combo of these to highlight. Oh, that that is beautiful. That is beautiful. It's weird, I didn't expect it to um give me this much. Like, hello. That wasn't part of the plan. And that is so nice. And so yeah, when you do like one thing and achieve one thing, usually it gives you the momentum to keep doing other stuff. Like even me, like sitting down, filming this video, putting on my makeup when I don't wanna put on makeup. Now it's when you think, oh okay, there's some other stuff I wanna do, I'm gonna do it. Like wash my brushes. I'm sorry, but I feel like I've just used some really great products. You know where you're like, wow, what I used was really good quality. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of this pink down here. Okay, for my lips, I'm gonna go in with my favorite, favorite nudie, nudie lip combination. And funny enough, it's from Morphe. <laughs> um, I got this in PR. They've got this like nude lip gloss set or whatever and lipstick set and lip pencil set. And there was this gorgeous dark brown pencil in there. Stunning, I I've lost it. And then they have these like lipsticks and some of them look a little bit casket ready. I'm not gonna lie. But look, this has had so much use. I've never used a lipstick as much as I've used this for like my nude combination and I'll show you why. Nice and dark. And I'm gonna put this on right in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but for some reason, I find this to be like that really nice 90s brownie nudie shade on me. When I put the gloss on top, oh my God, I'm probably gonna do it, but the gloss is upstairs. Um, it makes such a difference and I feel so glam wearing it. I feel like I need a little bit more color. So I'm going to go in with my, um, my Mocha Mami from Fenty Beauty and I said that this is a great bronzer, it's just that it's a little red, but right now I wanna add some color to me and this is gonna be able to do it. Like I feel like I want that readiness. Hot oh, girl summer ready. Oh, do you see the transformation? You can see the transformation from the outside to the inside, okay? Um, I like this, I feel great, I feel a bit more glam, I feel a bit more better, my mood is lifted. Thanks to the power of makeup. And this is the thing I say about makeup. It's not just like, it's not just vanity. It's like the process that kind of makes you take like 45 minutes to yourself to be like, you know what, I'm cute. To like look at yourself, play with something, have a little bit of fun. See, this gloss looks almost like yellow. It almost looks a little bit like concealer, but. I can't even be mad when I feel like I look this good. Come on, sing it with me. Can't even be mad. Yeah, okay. She's ad-libbing <laughs> because of a lip gloss. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
bear with me and my um, behavior. I'm human, we're all human out here. We do random stuff because we feel like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I have all products linked in the description box below. I want to say thank you because I feel like you guys make me feel a bit better, you know? When I'm having emotional moments, I can just turn on a camera and talk to my friends on the internet. I feel 10,000 times better. But I feel what I might do is like, I might do these like makeup and chat with me videos, but we can talk about specific problems or dilemmas or things that you guys send in. Let's talk about you. Let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. So leave your comments below and actually my next like video like this, we'll, we'll get into some real, some real tea. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.